best electric trucks arriving in 2022. Nowadays, the scene of electric cars navigating our roads is familiar and popular. What about the electric pickup trucks? With the global petrol prices expected to skyrocket, automakers and consumers are beginning to see the real and impressive potential of pickup trucks. An EV is now essentially a large battery on wheels, using vehicle-to-home functions or vehicle-to-load. One of the biggest EV truck's advantages is the immediate torque and power. Unlike combustion engine, electric motors lose virtually no energy, just a direct transmission of energy from the motor to the battery and wheels. This video has five sections, you may skip to your favorite electric truck. Please like and subscribe, this will help us a lot. Chevrolet Silverado Electric Truck GM announced, it will invest $27 billion in EVs through 2025. The company plans to have 30 EVs on the market, 20 of which will be available in North America. The Silverado EV is the third electric truck announced by General Motors, following the Hummer EV and the Sierra Denali. It will be assembled at GM's Factory Zero, Detroit Assembly Center, a facility devoted to EV production. The Silverado EV design is new from the ground up, sharing nothing with the combustion Silverado pickup. The front end has been designed to efficiently direct air down the body side, significantly reducing drag and turbulence. It comes with a futuristic, yet classic look that mark it as the non-conventional one among other Chevrolet's icons. The chassis is framed around the structure of its battery pack and its C-pillar is decorated with black cladding and square-shaped arches. The Silverado EV has the mid-gate replicating the Avalanche truck, but with a new 60-40 split. A panoramic fixed glass roof brings an open bright and roomy feel to the cabin, while filtering the sun's rays. The amazing lighting setup is arranged with a full-width LED light bar, and the extended taillights, that reach the front imply a retro ambience on it. The digital dashboard of base trim has an 8-inch digital gauge display, an 11-inch LCD touch infotainment screen. The high-end RTS trim is featured with 3D animation, on a 17-inch LCD freeform infotainment display, that is encircled by an 11-inch reconfigurable digital cluster. From the high-tech provisions, you will get smartphone connectivity like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and wireless charging, as well as onboard Wi-Fi hotspot and Sirius XM satellite radio. Google built-in helps you keep you connected, by bringing Google Assistant, Google Maps and Google Play. Chevrolet shared information on three trims, the base Silverado EV work truck, and then a top trim Silverado EV RST, priced at $107,000. The third trim is a lifted, off-road Silverado EV, called Trail Boss model. The rear seat has a spacious legroom that can accommodate tall passengers comfortably. The standard bed length of the RTS is measured to be 5 feet and 11 inches, but it has got an advanced revolutionary feature, that is a multiflex tailgate. This midgate design broadens a massive pass-through between the bed floor and cabin, thus allow an elongated floor space of 10 feet and 10 inches. The Silverado work truck comes with front and rear motors. It has a range of 400 miles and up to 664 horsepower. GM says it is able to charge an impressive 100 miles of range in 10 minutes at public charging stations. Chevrolet has been successful in utilizing their own made battery technology named Ultium Technology, and the same is installed in the Chevy Silverado electric truck, with a battery pack capacity of 200 kilowatt hours. The vehicle will offer DC fast charging as a standard option that will go up to 359 kilowatts. Chevy claims that the work truck has one of the lowest drag coefficients of any available full-size pickup truck and will ensure a 615 pound-foot of torque. With standard all-wheel drive and a steel suspension, it will be able to tow up to 8,000 pounds and carry a payload of up to 1,200 pounds. Chevrolet will later introduce a work truck fleet version that can tow up to 20,000 pounds. The high-end Silverado RST will have up to 664 horsepower and 780 pound-foot of torque, and will go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 4.5 seconds. 
General Motors opted for a unibody design that merges the body and frame into one piece. This is the same construction used on the Tesla Cybertruck too. This arrangement often results in a more rigid structure, but often at the expense of towing and cargo capacities. For comparison, the traditional Chevy Silverado and Ford F-150 Lightning are built on a traditional body-on-frame platform. The standard automatic emergency braking, with pedestrian detection, and lane departure warning, with lane keeping assist are expected to be standard features. Chevrolet says the Silverado work truck model will arrive in spring 2023, while the fully loaded RST first edition will land in fall 2023. Unfortunately, GM vehicles are no longer eligible for the federal tax credit. Atlas XT Atlas, a startup motor vehicles, based in Mesa, Arizona, planned to start production in late 2022. The team continues to refine the interior and exterior design based on extensive customer and investor feedback. There is a lot of interest in the XT pickup with over 60,000 reservations today. The XT sleek modern design has an active headlight management system to improve safety and visibility. Each headlight is comprised of four daytime DRLs which act as a turn signal and can flash in a variety of colors for different applications. The taillights are also adjustable depending on use case situation. The projector bulbs used in the front are also in the rear, providing additional light when working or connecting a trailer in dark spaces. The lack of a combustion engine up front allows to free up space and improve aerodynamic design. This includes a downward sloping hood that also improves visibility. There is also additional 18.5 cubic feet storage in the truck front. It is also equipped with two 110 volt, 30 ampere outlets and a 240 volt, 50 ampere outlet, as well as access to compressed air and USB C charging ports. The XT pickup's bed is available in 6.5 and 8 feet, and it features a spray in bed and 18.5 cubic feet of space. It has a 12 inch ground clearance. Atlas is taking a different approach to the digital cockpit, bringing both simplicity and sophistication. The XT is equipped with a digital mirror system utilizing cameras as well as retractable mirrors. One camera mounted to each side of the vehicle and two screens on the dashboard provide the driver with an unprecedented level of visibility, particularly in dark driving conditions or when visibility is limited. A camera feed for 360 parking and a bed cam to monitor the cargo. The 12.8-inch center touch console places all vehicle controls for the driver and passenger within reach. The center touch display is based on a three-touch principle, enabling the customer to get to any function within three touches. The center display can utilize both CarPlay and Android Auto. The XT is available in a three- or six-passenger configuration. The front and rear seats are identical to ensure comfort for all passengers. The air suspension system also assists with loading and unloading the truck by lowering it for easy access. A 240 volt, 50 ampere outlet will power tools that require a higher voltage, such as a welder. An air pump hookup will power any compressor tools, allowing customers to bring their entire shop into the field and eliminating the need for any type of infrastructure to get the job done. The XT truck targets the work needs of fleet owners, small businesses, and tradespeople, with a battery size of 250 kilowatt hour, it allows a 500 mile range and fast recharge time of less than 15 minutes. However, the lower end editions can only do 300 and 400 miles each. The charging ports are allocated along the front of the vehicle. It can utilize the existing charging infrastructure and can recharge on a standard 120 or 240 outlet. The XT is equipped with four independent traction motors in an all-wheel drive configuration. They are also claiming it is good for a top speed of 120 miles per hour, accelerates from 0 to 60 miles in just 5 seconds. Driving experience will be very pleasant with a four-wheel drive electric hub motor system and four-wheel independent suspension, which enable regenerative braking. The truck has a 35,000 pounds towing capacity and a 5,000 pounds payload limit. Peak torque is 12,000 foot-pound and a powerful 600 horsepower. 
Atlas claims it has the largest trunk storage capacity of any electric pickup truck. The footstep is integrated in the structure of the platform and extends along both sides of the vehicle, providing easy access to the bed and accessories. At an estimated functional life of a million miles, this could be one of the most remarkable electric pickup trucks around and will be assembled completely in the US. Rivian R1T The Rivian Automotive is an Amazon-backed EV startup. It has grown its North American pre-orders to approximately 60,000 for its R1T electric truck. Rivian will be building this pickup truck in the former Mitsubishi assembly plant in Normal, Illinois. The Rivian Explore trim costs $67,500 and comes well equipped. But off-road intenders should consider the Adventure off-road package, with 20-inch tires and other gear for $76,800. Rivian says that the Launch Edition's trim costs $85,000 and is good for 400 miles or 643 kilometers in a single charge when paired with the 180 kWh battery pack. The Rivian modern design has a light bar which stretches across the front of the car. While charging it shows a green progress bar, so you know how far through charging it is. The two long ovals headlights are surrounded by LED running lights. Just behind the rear doors on either side of the truck are smaller doors, which open to a compartment that stretches the width of the vehicle. This storage is ideal for snowboards, skis or some other accessories. The Rivian R1T is made of aluminium with high-strength steels and carbon. It is 217 inch long, 82 inch wide and 78 inch high. For off-road convenience it has a max ground clearance of 14.9 inches, thanks to adjustable air suspension to ensure sufficient off-road capability. The interior of the Rivian reflects proportion with a warm and welcoming dashboard free of buttons and clutter. A 15.6-inch touchscreen with a landscape orientation centers the dash and controls most climate and vehicle functions. Following Tesla's example and offering touchscreen controls, the Rivian R1T combines five full seats with a special interior using an easy-to-wash material that won't stain. It is also fully integrated with Alexa, which is expected because one of its key investors is Amazon chairman Jeff Bezos. The skateboard structure is also full of clever storage spaces, such as in the nose, under the flat load floor and under the rear seat. There is also a kind of lockable tunnel between the passenger cell and the rear wheels. Rivian's approach to autonomous driving is called Drive Plus, which is different to Tesla's. It is not a fully self-driving capability, but a driver aid for more advanced cruise control experience. The system is made up of 11 cameras, 5 radar sensors, and 12 ultrasonic sensors to monitor all around the car, which will steer and adjust speed based on traffic and change lanes when you indicate. In terms of capacity, and unlike other pickups, the Rivian has innovative storage spaces to secure more than 68 cubic feet. A tailgate comes with a step that could make it easier to climb into the bed. The bed measures 51.1 inches wide, good enough to haul sheets of plywood with the tailgate down. The bed length expands to 83.8 inches, and the R1T has a max payload of 1,760 pounds. Detroit-based Rivian makes the R1T base model with a 135 kWh battery pack and a 300-mile range. The range depends on which model you buy. There will also be a 2022 Max Pack model that offers 400 plus miles and a 180 kilowatt hours battery, but costs an extra $10,000. A 135 kilowatt hours battery pack powers the four motors that make more than 800 horsepower and 900 pound foot of torque. The R1T can turn on the spot like a tank. The almost 2.7-ton Rivian top speed is 125 miles per hour and should sprint from 0 to 60 miles in about 3 seconds. Only a small selection of hypercars and supercars can better that speed. Rivian is allowed to tow up to 11,000 pounds but the manufacturer warns that the driving range might be cut by roughly 50% when towing. A 1T with all-wheel drive an adjustable air suspension, are built to ensure exceptional off-road performance. 
Did we mention its ability to drive easily through three feet of water? The car has a built-in kitchen, complete with utensils, sink and cooking facilities if a customer wants it. Ford Motor and Rivian no longer plan to co-develop an electric vehicle, the companies confirmed recently. Rivian R1T is the first official electric pickup truck in the United States, and it combines the ruggedness of a pickup truck with the luxury of a high-end vehicle. Rivian has over 70,000 reservation holders for the R1T truck and already started to deliver to customers. Ford F-150 Lightning The Michigan-based automaker Ford says it will invest $29 billion in EVs through 2025. The F-150 Lightning is the most powerful and versatile Ford has ever built, so it's not a surprise that it is extremely popular, with 200,000 reservations. The Blue Oval plans to nearly double the annual production of the truck to 150,000 units. The base trim costs $40,000 while prices go up to $90,500 for the range topping configuration with all options. It looks like Ford will be the first to start a real mass market production. Customer deliveries will start this spring of 2022. The F-150 Lightning is a bit longer and taller than the Gas F-150, but its proportions will appear similar. It rides on an independent rear suspension, uses a steel body-on-frame design unique to the Lightning, and the body is made of high-strength aluminium alloy, similar to the Gas F-150. Up front, the Lightning C-clamp headlights bridge a single LED light bar across the front. A single light bar spans the tailgate as well. The front grille doesn't need to allow airflow, so that has been redesigned. The lighting can be programmed for red and amber for typical tail lights and turn signals or flash colors in emergency situations. The same projector bulbs used in the front are also in the rear, providing additional light when working or connecting a trailer in the dark. The inside features a fold-out workstation in the center console and front seats that can fold completely flat. Ford Modern EV interior has a 15.5-inch infotainment touchscreen. Like the Mustang Mach-E, this display is portrait rather than landscape. The company also hasn't dropped all the physical buttons, which is a much-appreciated design choice. The F-150 Lightning comes with Ford's Blue Cruise, which is also coming to the Mustang Mach-E later this year. Blue Cruise can control steering and acceleration and doesn't require the driver to keep their hands on the wheel. It also comes with an infrared camera that monitors whether the driver is looking at the road or not. Naturally, it will also have voice control options, connected navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and cloud connectivity as well. The F-150 lighting also comes with a smart hitch assist feature, useful for people who intend to do some towing. The standard range lightning is powered by either a 98 kilowatt hours battery pack, good to travel a range of 230 miles, whereas the extended range model will target 300 miles, powered by 131 kilowatt hours pack. The F-150 Lightning has charging speeds up to 150 kilowatt, and its battery goes from 15% to 80% in 45 minutes. Either pack can create up to 775 pound-foot of torque from the motors, while the standard range generates 426 horsepower and the larger pack makes 563 horsepower. The extended range Lightning hits 60 miles per hour in the mid for second range, according to Ford, who added that it's quicker than a Raptor and the max torque is more than any other F-150. Towing capacity reaches 10,000 pounds and Lightning has a max payload of 2,000 pounds. In terms of cargo, the front trunk has 14.1 cubic feet of space and can carry up to 400 pounds of stuff. That's why Ford is calling it the Mega Power Frunk. Plus 5.5 foot of bed capacity just like the Gas F-150. Targeting contractors and other commercial truck users, the Lightning would be able to power electric source and other equipment, eventually eliminating or reducing the need for generators at work sites. There are up to 11 power outlets in total. Ford said, it's made to be on the job site and to work all day. Arriving in 2022 with an expected range of 300 plus miles per charge, and accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4 seconds. During a test drive, 
US President Joe Biden guessed it was around 4.3 seconds. The Ford F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck is due to go on sale in spring 2022. More expensive trims like XLT and Lariat, and even Platinum, will also be available short after. Tesla Cybertruck After delaying the Cybertruck launches for the last few years, Elon Musk has now set a strong timeline for Tesla to bring it to production in 2023. On the recent event of the Tesla's Cyber Rodeo, at its new Giga Texas factory, Musk and designer Franz present the new Cybertruck. Basically, it looks the same with no major changes, just riding on more road-ready wheels, and also completely removing door handles. Tesla has a mind-boggling 1.3 million reservations for the Cybertruck. It's flat, it's angled, and it stands out. The Cybertruck has been made to look like something out of an early 90s science fiction games. The Cybertruck comes with all the truck features you'd expect, including a 6.5-foot truck bed. The bed comes with an extendable telescoping ramp instead of a standard tailgate. The Cybertruck is also built to be incredibly durable, with Elon Musk claim that the door would hold up to shots from a 9mm handgun. The Cybertruck is 231.7 inches long, 79.8 inches wide and 75 inches tall, with seating for six adults. Its dimension is very similar to the Ford F-150. It incorporates 304 stainless steel alloys to provide an unmatched strength and durability. The Cybertruck has a massive, flat windshield, blending seamlessly into the hood. However, Musk wrote on Twitter, commenting on the wiper's massive size, the wiper is what troubles me most, there is no easy solution. The Cybertruck's interior continues the spaceship theme, with the shape of the seats and dash taking some cues from the outside of the car. Naturally, the glass roof which allows for ample sky views is angled too. You still get the classic Tesla features, including the small steering wheel and vacant dashboard. The wide infotainment tablet depicts a future-looking design that is easy on the eyes. The dashboard looks like it is made of marble, but in reality, it is a form of compressed paper. The futuristic design includes interior features like a lighting strip for rear seats. Off-road performance looks decent, with a 35-degree approach angle, 28-degree departure angle and up to 16 inches of ground clearance. Elon Musk went on to say that it can function similar to a boat. This means that you may be able to move it along a river or stream to cover a short distance. Being all electric means that it does not need an air intake or an exhaust, and its interior engine can be sealed for water protection. The Cybertruck's bed features a built-in ramp and multiple charging outlets for things like electric ATVs. Tesla claims a payload capacity of 3,500 pounds, which puts it ahead of Ford F-150. The Tesla Cybertruck starts off at 250 miles for the single-motor model, which jumps to 300 miles if you pay for the dual-motor upgrade. However, the top-tier model, with tri-motor, can go up to an insane 500 miles on a single charge. Cybertruck can handle the 250 kilowatts charging speeds from the company's supercharging network. That lets the Cybertruck recharge from 10% to 80% in just 44 minutes. Finding Tesla supercharger points should be fairly simple. There's absolutely no question that the Cybertruck wins on range every single time. Tesla hasn't announced the horsepower of the Cybertruck, though Motor Trend estimates that it could have between 690 and 800 horsepower. Tesla has meanwhile promised, the Cybertruck can go from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, for the three-motor model, 4.5 seconds for the dual motor, and 6.5 seconds for the single motor. Musk saying that the Cybertruck could have a coefficient of drag of around 0.3. Tesla's autopilot is, by default, a level 2 system that includes autonomous cruise control and limited automated steering within clearly marked lanes. Tesla sells a full self-driving capability, as an option, which costs an extra $10,000. Cybertruck's capabilities, promising that the tri-motor model can pull 14,000 pounds. Towing capacity levels out at 10,000 pounds for the dual motor, and 7,500 pounds for the single motor. 
If Tesla's ambitious claims that it can tow up to 14,000 pounds and drive more than 500 miles on a single charge are true, the Cybertruck will be more capable than the current Ford F-150 and will have a longer range than any EV on the market. With an adjustable air suspension that can provide up to 16 inches of ground clearance. Seems like Tesla intended the Cybertruck to be more capable off-road than a Jeep, quicker than a Porsche, and stronger than all of the best-selling half-ton trucks. The Cybertruck clearly isn't for everyone, but it's definitely going to be making waves in the industry for years to come, especially since it's going to be ready for 2023, and starts at just $39,000. Tesla calls the bed portion of the truck, the vault, as a crucial part of Tesla's stainless steel structure. This vault also has a mechanical cover that you can close to make the truck more aerodynamic. A quad motor Cybertruck is also on the way, per Elon Musk's Twitter feed, but there's no further information. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you want to watch more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel.